Welcome back to Daft Wang. I'm Dave. So we've got a, a G riff here that goes to a suspended fourth. Um, and in the case of G, that's the note C added to that G chord. So hopefully you can see that. We're just adding that that C and kind of strumming that back and forth. Okay, a lot of times this can be used as an intro. You know, if you're playing with somebody, a singer, you know, somebody strumming and singing and maybe you were the second guitar that's there or at an open mic or, you know, at band practice or something, or just playing with the backing track, whatever. Um, but, you know, you don't really have anything worked out for the intro, but, um, you know, rather than everybody just playing the chords together, this is a chance for, for us as the, the, the lead player or the second player to um, come in and, you know, carve out a little melodic intro to it, and that adds a lot to a, 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 a tune, even if it's just, you know, like two acoustics or something. So, but you could also use this, everything I'm about to show you in a, in a, in a full on jam to, you know, just staying on that one chord. Um, melodically, we're using both pentatonics, minor and major, and um, some mixolydian stuff. So that flatted seventh sound for a G scale. <laughs> strings here. So if we're doing like minor pentatonic, for example, well, those same notes can, you can use them, you can play using these open uh, locations here. And that can get you some real dirty slide back up to that G. Okay, then of course, you know, the major pentatonic. We like that movable pattern a lot on this channel. We use that a lot, right? Well, those notes can also be played So, you know, do some investigation of your own there and kind of figure out where some of that is. This one can really be a cha game changer, though, this minor pentatonic using the... And it just makes those... Nothing wrong with that, but, you know... That just sounds so much more stylized, right? In certain styles. Here's what I mean. I'll go with that little theme right there. And that's what you want to do is look for phrases that you can repeat and build on. Looking, especially if you're just looking to do a couple, you know, eight bars around, 16 bars around until a vocal comes in or something, that stuff is great. You don't have to, you know, go all over the place and, you know, risk kind of getting, you know, too strung out or whatever. You just pick some, some, a good solid little area right there that you're comfortable with and just really trust that space where you're not using a lot of notes, but you're letting a, a lot of space exists in between the phrases. Don't be a 
afraid to really leave that open. reaching you know even after i said that i i kind of you know crammed a bunch of notes in there but we do that because we're always looking for the next thing like you, you do something like oh i mean i got if i had that one so we always keep doubling back right we're like the outlaw josie wales or what right we keep doubling back to try to add that one extra little thing and that's what practicing is all about so work all that stuff out and really let yourself go but then when you get into a situation where you're playing with some other players or supporting a singer-songwriter or playing at an open mic and you're sitting in, you know, um, you know, don't be afraid to be open and expressive with your playing, but also realize like, hey, you know, this isn't the time to practice every idea that flies <laughs> into my head, <laughs> right? You know, uh, that's what we do with our practice loop at home. And then when we get in... A real music musically social situation we base what we're playing off of what other people are doing right in that space so here's the main ideas melodically here um, minor pentatonic major pentatonic Solidian. You notice that earlier I went. There's that flat. Well, there's a little line right there. You, you, you put yourself together a line that speaks to you. Put your track back on and really carve that out. You know, Well, I'll just go from Didn't throw a whole lot at you here in terms of, you know, scale theory and stuff today. And I did that on purpose. Find little phrases and pockets within those familiar feeling and sounding, you know, uh, uh, note sequences, pentatonic. Don't forget about your flat seven. Put that in there. And just repeat them, carve them, whittle them down to where it's just the essence of that line and really um, let yourself sort of meditate on that um, while you're playing and let it sort of take over for itself and you'll feel that you'll know when that's happening okay hope you enjoyed this one let me know how you did with it and i'll talk to you next time